Hello friends, I'm Martin Bell. My wife Charlene gave me a ukulele for Christmas four years ago and it changed my life. I practice every day and I've met tons of amazing people. Why do you build me up, buttercup baby, just to let me down and mess me around? A few months ago, I did ACDC's It's a Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll for a Zoom open mic. Here's a clip from the original music video. And here's my cover. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. I casually mentioned that I had to substitute a kazoo because I didn't have a set of bagpipes. Well, Charlene picked up on that and surprised me with a set for my birthday earlier this month. Here they are. Uh, okay, that's what they look like. I know next to nothing about bagpipes, but I do understand, stay, they're complicated and take a long time to master. But hey, I learned to play ukulele from watching YouTube videos. Maybe I could do the same for bagpipes. I'm starting from nothing here as it didn't come with a scrap of documentation on even how to put them together. I don't know where the pipes go or how to put the reeds in them or what to do with it once it's together. By the way, I play clarinet in junior high, so I at least know a reed when I see one. The first step was to watch a couple of beginner videos that I expected would show me at least how to put them together. Uh, it didn't work out that way. It appears that picking up a set of bagpipes is a long, drawn-out process before you can even blow your first note. I was further thwarted by a pompous killjoy named Rich Gordon. Is it okay if I just learn how to play the melody and then come back and learn the rudiments later on? No, it's not okay. Um, you know, I can't stop you from doing what you're going to do, but fundamentally, if that's your approach, you're never actually going to learn how to play the instrument. But if that is your goal, just to get to that far, then I suggest that you don't bother watching any further because you're wasting your own time. In a Disney movie about a gifted bagpipe player, this guy would play the antagonist, Professor Adnoid, who teaches high school music to robots. Our hero remains unbroken and learns to play Star Wars on a set of flaming bagpipes while riding a unicycle. <laughs> Yay, Unipiper! Despite that dreary start, I soldiered on through five videos before Professor Adnoid finally blew a note on the practice chanter, like this. I learned the bagpipe scale and continued my search for a suitable teacher. I was feeling a little intimidated by this process and the responsibility of an expensive musical instrument when Charlene told me that it really only cost about $100 on Amazon. That gave me a pr fresh perspective, and I wanted to learn more about these cheap pipes. That led me to an unboxing video for $130 Amazon bagpipes. Surely now I would find out how to put them together. Here's some of that video from Matt Willis. Now again, the beginner would just be getting this uh, set of pipes as is with these reeds and trying to make them work. Now in the few minutes I've been messing with these already, I cannot get them to really work. Uh, the fit and finish is, is it's tight, they're hard to move. Uh, the reeds themselves look poorly cut. These drones are not with the supplied reeds. They're not able to be made uh, playable or tunable. This would give you hours and hours of frustration as it currently is. I, I cannot recommend a set of the Amazon $130 bagpipes. Thanks, Matt. That really helped a lot. He's really down to earth and has a great channel. Here's what I've learned so far. One, Pakistan has been making these bagpipes for decades. I don't know why. Probably something to do with British occupation, no doubt. 
The quality is very bad, and they need a lot of care and money to make them playable, if at all. Definitely not something you want to hand to a beginner. You should probably spend close to $1,000 for a decent set of pipes to get a good solid start. 2. A beginner doesn't pick up a bad pipe for quite some time. You start by learning the notes and fingering techniques on a practice chanter like this. It's basically the front and back of a bagpipe without the bag in the middle. You can and should play songs on the practice chanter, even though it sounds only vaguely like a bagpipe. It looks like you need to play the practice chanter for months before you even think about picking up a bagpipe. 3. The bagpipes consist of a bag with holes for the blowpipe, the part you blow on, the chanter, the part you finger, and three drones, two shorter tenor drones, and a bass drone. Four. The first thing you need to do with a new set of bagpipes is ensure that the bag can hold air. You need a special set of corks so you can block the outlets and inflate the bag like a balloon. I don't have the corks and I don't want to spend ten bucks, so I'm going to skip that step. Five. You need to make sure all the reeds are working. There's a small plastic reed for the practice chanter. Then there are natural reeds for the bagpipe chanter, and there are three drone reeds that can either be plastic or natural. All the reeds go in the end of the pipe that goes in towards the bag. Six, the chanter has four holes for your right hand, three holes from your, for your left hand, and a hole on the back for your thumb. Seven, the bagpipe scale goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F, high G, and high A. Let's see if I can play the scale on the practice chanter. By the way, the top hole and the thumb hole were both plugged with lacquer, so nice. Did you notice anything strange there? Meanwhile, I asked Charlene for more information from the seller about the pipes. They were so impressed they sent a whole beginner set with a book, a CD, and a practice chanter. This is really very nice and plays way better than the practice chanter that came with the bagpipes. it sounds like a scale. Now what about these bagpipes? You heard what Matt said. I watched his part two video where he put in the new reeds and drones and uh, he failed. I'm not sure it's possible to make these pipes playable. Let's see what happens. I hope you weren't expecting much. That's actually the most noise I've gotten out of them at all. I think that the reed going into the chanter is doing nothing so I can get a little bit of droning, which is not zero. That's where the challenge comes in. It won't be easy, but I just might be able to get the pipes to play something. I'm not putting in new reeds though. A basic set would cost almost a hundred bucks and it didn't go well when the expert did it. I'm going to watch some videos and try to discipline the ones I have. My goal is to get this set to play roughly as well as the set in Matt's unboxing video. More than that, I want to play Amazing Grace. Play is kind of a strong word. I'll be happy if I can play as well as one of Harold Hill's students in The Music Man. <laughs> It's going to be a challenge, but I accept. There's no prize here other than my own sense of accomplishment and the joy of learning something new. 
so there's no need to rush things. I figure I'll either get it done or have lost interest in a couple of months. Let's say end of February. I can do that. Success will bring with it one more perk. I can pretend to be Scotty at Spock's funeral.